In this short demonstration of uh, Net Backup Self Service, uh, I'm going to show you a number of different views uh, that different users can have who might use the system. Uh, the first view then we have is uh, the admin view. Uh, this may be the uh, Net Backup Administrator who's able to come into the portal and just check that the portal is uh, talking uh, with Net Backup uh, and all of the information uh, that is correctly passing between the two. In here then you can see we can define all of the tenants uh, that are going to be used within the system. So these could be uh, uh, different companies or different divisions within a single company. Next tab we have along is the uh, machine list. Uh, this lists all of the machines that are uh, included within the portal. Uh, it lists details about them, uh, for instance the policy type uh, and the uh, actual name of the machine as well as a customer code so it can actually relate to uh, each tenant. Uh, the locations tab defines all of the uh, NetBackup master servers uh, that we're going to talk to on the portal uh, and we have uh, some uh, visibility here on the status uh, so we can see if we're correctly uh, talking to all of these master servers. Finally uh, we define all the protection levels in the system these relate to uh, the actual policy type that it's going to be uh, that the machine is going to be added into in Net Backup. Uh, you can have uh, different uh, flavors. So you can have, for instance, a gold, silver, and bronze. Uh, we define those in the portal, and then when you go and add a machine into a policy, it'll go and look for that particular gold, silver, or bronze policy uh, within uh, Net Backup. Again, all of these can be uh, edited uh, and we can add new protection levels from here. Uh, and again, we can also check connectivity. The next user I want to have a look at is a tenant user. So this is a tenant called uh, Green Trading. Uh, you can see, first of all, that we've branded the uh, portal. Uh, so that it has their corporate branding colors. Uh, that's very easy to do through the uh, administration uh, of uh, Net Backup and that can be done by a business user with a click and point through the UI. Uh, first of all then, when this user comes in, you can see they're presented with uh, quite a lot of information. Uh, on the left here, we've got a traffic light system. Uh, this is demonstrating to them that they have uh, 13 machines in total, but you can see that 10 of these are protected, uh, and they're protected uh, within the uh, backhold threshold, threshold that we've set. Two of the machines are uh, not protected, uh, and that, of course, may be by design. Uh, and one machine currently uh, needs attention. So let me click into that uh, panel. You can see we've now isolated all of the uh, red machines. Uh, and if I hover over that and uh, we select it, uh, you can see we're presented with information uh, about the machine and its uh, backup attributes. So straight away, I can see from the panel up here the reason it's being flagged as red is that it's currently outside of the warning uh, threshold that we'd set down here in the protection level uh, as uh, 24 hours. And you can see also here a definition of what that particular protection level does. Uh, if you want to change that or change the uh, particular gold into uh, blue or red or, or something else, then again, that's very easy to do uh, within the system. We can also see here a list of uh, all the most recent backups, and indeed uh, the last one was 24 hours outside of uh, the uh, threshold. Okay, also on here then we have some data that relates to the machine uh, usage. Up here we're showing 933 uh, megabytes, which is the total uh, storage base we're currently using, as well as some uh, historical information uh, that relates to uh, what sort of uh, use space and also new backups uh, this machine was actually taking. Okay, I'm just going to close out of that. We'll go back onto uh, here and we'll select all of the machines again. And uh, what I do now is just go and have a look at these two boxes up here. The first one then that's showing 23%, uh, we can set an attribute uh, against a tenant for the amount of uh, allocated storage space that they have. Uh, and in this case, uh, it's set at 205 gigabytes. So as we're only using 47, uh, it was showing 23%. If we don't want to set that, or if it doesn't make sense to do that, then this box would just show the 47 gigabytes. On the right of that then, uh, we've got information relating to uh, the uh, historical uh, usage and uh, also 
uh, the uh, new backups as well. Now normally uh, we would uh, suggest that you switch one of these off uh, and you leave the one on that really relates to uh, the charging mechanism that that particular customer uh, is using. Uh, now you can see on here that we're showing uh, these columns and what I can do is I can click into uh, one of the columns uh, and bring up some more detailed information uh, for that particular month. On here then we're seeing information on new backups uh, and it's, it, it's got the number of new backups plus the uh, amount of space. Uh, we've also got the current used space and uh, also this charge is an indication of how much that machine is going to be charged uh, that month. Uh, now there is an, another attribute that you can put in uh, at a tenant level to specify how much that tenant is being charged per terabyte uh, and that's how we get that figure there. All this information uh, can be exported down here via the uh, export usage and uh, if you want to view other months you can just click up here and go and uh, have a look at a, a, another month if you wish. Okay let's go back to the uh, first tab uh, and the last thing to show you then for this user is that against one of these machines that isn't currently protected uh, I can click on the cog at the end uh, and we've got a number of different options that we could do. Uh, we could go and view the details, which would uh, allow us to view the details as I saw before for the red machine. Uh, we can do a backup now, which is a, an ad hoc backup on demand. We've also got the ability, if it's a VM, to go and restore that VM, or indeed we could go and restore a file. Now, if I wanted to add it into a protection policy, then we've defined these gold, silver, and bronze. Uh, you can define uh, other ones uh, and give them your own names. Uh, and use different colors uh, but here we're just using uh, gold silver and bronze and as you saw these have uh, attributes against them uh, that can be viewable uh, by the user when they're adding it into the policy okay so this is uh, the uh, the sort of admin user for this particular tenant what I'm going to do now is I'm going to log out and we're going to log in uh, to another user within this same tenant uh, and they will be able to see uh, a different set of uh, machines uh, and get a different uh, view of different functions that they can do with them uh, as well. Okay, so this time we're going to log in as uh, a different user. And as I said, this time we can see that we're only now seeing five machines. So we're demonstrating uh, that uh, different users within the same tenant, uh, we can give uh, a different access to uh, a different set of machines that maybe uh, that they're only allowed to see fewer machines in this case. Also on the right hand side, uh, if I wanted to go and uh, do uh, any functions with these machines, if we pick the one that is currently not protected, you can see that I haven't got the ability now to add this into a uh, protection level anymore, or even to do a restore VM uh, or a backup on demand. The only option here is uh, a restore file. So this is just really demonstrating that uh, for each different user, uh, we can uh, make a profile that is appropriate to them so they can see the machines they need to see and do the actions that they need to see as well. Also for this user, we've uh, given the ability to view uh, this graphical information. But as you can see, when I click on it, they can't actually uh, log in and, and see a breakdown of that information. Okay, so this has been a short demonstration of uh, NetBackup uh, self-service.